Pluto is a distant and mysterious dwarf planet which was once a member of our solar system's planetary family. However, recent startling announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a shocking revelation. They suggest that this icy world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what would be the consequences of such a massive event? Are we witnessing a rare astronomical phenomenon, or is there something more to this impending cosmic collision? Join us as we explore the possibilities of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was demoted to a dwarf planet partly due to its peculiar orbit, remains a subject of fascination and study in the astronomical community. According to recent predictions by leading scientists, Pluto's trajectory is dangerously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the red flag of a possible hazardous collision between these two planets, which could pose a huge threat to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its highly elliptical shape, deviating significantly from the near-circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more peculiar is its inclination, angled at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto traces is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and elliptical nature add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to understand its unique trajectory. Unlike the other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its path, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms apsidal libration and latitude libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is apsidal libration. In the context of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their paths from colliding. Latitude libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's situated significantly above their orbital plane providing an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another crucial component in this equation is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists, Juan Zipel, Kozai, and Litov, who studied how objects move in space. This oscillation helps explain why Pluto's path around the Sun is so unusual. Even though Pluto's path seems erratic, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The VZK oscillation shows that even if things in space seem chaotic, there are patterns and rules that keep everything in order. All these components help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or get thrown off course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these paths change due to the gravitational pull of space objects on each other. Studying this helps us learn about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos at bay. 
Recent computer tests have helped us understand how the big planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, affect Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special connection with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's path steady. Jupiter's gravity also plays a big part in keeping Pluto's orbit safe and stable, with Saturn contributing as well. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to keep Pluto on a stable path for billions of years. So, it's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn all work together to ensure Pluto continues moving safely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are essential for maintaining the order and predictability of space bodies' movements in the universe. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic and unpredictable place. Bodies like Pluto could potentially collide with others or be ejected from their stable paths, leading to a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about a possible future collision with Neptune, understanding its orbit is vital. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's case demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of equilibrium through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and study to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly change its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been extremely helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to mimic how Pluto and other objects, like Neptune, affect one another with their gravity. By changing small details in these simulations, astronomers can see how even slight tweaks can have big consequences on Pluto's path. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed something very interesting about Pluto's orbit. Even though mechanisms like apsidal and latitude libration keep it relatively steady, Pluto's orbit can still be quite wild and unpredictable. Pluto is a distant and mysterious dwarf planet, which was once considered a member of our solar system's planetary family. However, recent startling announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a shocking revelation. They suggest that this icy world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what would be the consequences of such a massive event? Are we witnessing a rare astronomical phenomenon, or is there something more to this impending cosmic collision? Join us as we explore the possibilities of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was demoted to a dwarf planet partly due to its peculiar orbit, remains a subject of fascination and study in the astronomical community. According to recent predictions by leading scientists, Pluto's trajectory is dangerously close to Neptune's. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are raising concerns about a possible hazardous collision between these two celestial bodies, which could pose a huge threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system, it takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its highly elliptical orbit, deviating significantly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more peculiar is its inclination angled at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its path much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and elliptical nature add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to understand its unique trajectory. Unlike the other planets whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. 
The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its path, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms asymptotic libration and latitude libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is asymptotic libration. In the context of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their paths from colliding. Latitude libration refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's situated significantly above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another crucial component in this equation is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists, von Zeipel, Kai, and Lasker, who studied how objects move in space. This pulling affects how they move, and in Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Even though Pluto's path seems chaotic, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The VZK oscillation shows that, even when things in space seem wild and random, patterns and rules keep everything in order. These components help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or get thrown off course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these paths change because of the gravitational pull between space objects. Studying this helps us learn about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and their stars. In the late 1980s, numerical simulations revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic. Minor deviations in initial conditions could lead to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have maintained stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping chaos at bay. Recent computer simulations have helped us understand how the big planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special connection with Pluto where, for every two rounds Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's path steady. But Neptune isn't the only one helping, Jupiter's gravity also plays a big part in keeping Pluto's orbit safe and stable, and Saturn helps as well. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to keep Pluto on a stable path for billions of years. It's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are all working together to ensure Pluto moves safely through space without trouble. These phenomena are essential for maintaining order and predictability in the movements of space bodies. Without these mechanisms, our solar system would be a much more chaotic place, with bodies like Pluto potentially colliding with others or being ejected from their stable paths, leading to a domino effect. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially with talks about a potential collision with Neptune in the future. It offers a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature and demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach equilibrium through complex gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. This also shows the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better grasp our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos refers to how a celestial body's path is highly sensitive to its initial conditions. In Pluto's case, even small differences in its position or velocity can lead to dramatically different long-term orbits. Using computer simulations has been crucial for scientists in understanding how Pluto moves in space. These simulations involve intricate mathematics to replicate how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune interact. By tweaking small details in these simulations, Astronomers can observe how tiny changes make a big difference in Pluto's trajectory.